Peter Combofin Rose is here to talk to you about M. Bison in Ultra Street Fighter 4. M. Bison has always been considered solid, but with his low damage output, not all that intimidating. Let's see if that issue was resolved as we look at some of his more prominent changes. M. Bison's ground game is pretty strong, but due to him being a charge character, players had to use many attacks before his specials, reducing his overall combo damage, or skip using his special moves altogether to maximize damage. To fix this, we've made his far standing middle punch special cancelable. This will now give players the ability to tack on more damage while still being able to integrate his special moves into the combos. Bison's anti-air capabilities don't normally allow him to do all that much damage outside of his ultra. In an effort to increase his output slightly, the juggle on the second hit has been increased. This will now allow him to follow up with a Psycho Crusher or any other crazy things Bison players can come up with. Against certain projectile characters, Bison was at such a severe disadvantage that players felt that they lost a match at the selection screen. To help with that, the projectile invincibility on his EX knee press has been increased so that he's not as helpless in the projectile battle. Bison's mobility paired with his abundance of escape options made it rather difficult for players to put pressure on Bison effectively. To address that, the recovery on his teleport has been increased by just a little bit, meaning that Bison players will now have to use it a bit more intelligently or face being punished by the opponent. Ever since Psycho Punisher was changed from a quarter circle motion to a charge motion, the effectiveness of the Ultra has decreased greatly. In an effort to make it more usable once again, yet not overly abusable, the total charge time has been reduced. This means players who make the proper read will once again be rewarded greatly when using this Ultra. Bison has definitely improved overall. His inability to fight certain projectile characters has been improved, as was his overall damage output, which was specifically viewed as one of, if not his primary weakness. Although one of his methods of escape has been weakened, his other options remain untouched, which means he'll still have ways out of pressure if played correctly. 